I'm Matthew. And hi, I'm Mallory. We're researchers at Google working on Wear OS, Google's smartwatch operating system. Today, we're going to talk about how to conduct better user research when designing a smartwatch app. Let's start with some of the basics about smartwatches. Smartwatches are used for many things, from tracking your physical activity or sleep, to receiving and responding to notifications, and a range of other tasks throughout the day. What makes designing for smartwatches different is that they're used for many short bursts of interaction compared to smartphones. The average smartwatch session is five seconds long, compared to an average phone session of three minutes and 52 seconds. This means that both design and research must be approached differently for smartwatches. When thinking about designing for smartwatches, the aim is not to simply make your phone app smaller and place it on people's wrists. The goal is to truly understand what value your app could bring to the smartwatch. Unlike many other devices, people tend to be doing something else when they engage with their watch. Smartwatch apps need to respect that people may not be giving them their full attention and they need to be designed accordingly, simple and glanceable. Let's use navigating while cycling as an example. Users may want to see the upcoming turns on their wrists, but their focus is and should be on cycling and arriving at their destination safely. A great smartwatch app helps users with their primary task while minimizing any distraction that could impact it. There are various types of research in the product development lifecycle. To illustrate this better, we will use the double diamond process. For illustrative purposes, this process may appear linear. However, in reality, you may be switching between each of these diamonds. New insights and requirements may emerge that shift your strategy. So in fact, it may not be linear at all. Foundational research is right at the beginning, in the first diamond. The aim is to really understand what the problem space is and how your Wear OS app can help your target audience. Imagine you're working on a media app for Wear OS. You may conduct foundational research, such as understanding how and why people listen to media. This could involve engaging with runners, observing or interviewing them, or finding people who use music as motivation while at the gym or on their daily commute. We recommend interviewing runners from different backgrounds and cultures to see how their needs may differ. You want to understand what tools they currently use, what their pain points are, and why they decide to take specific actions in particular moments. The next phase is developing and delivering solutions. This part really builds upon your foundational research. There are a variety of ways to do this, for example, through workshops, concept testing, or co-design. Using a workout scenario, you can involve runners in cities, runners from rural areas, and runners from different ages and genders to ensure the solution addresses a broad range of needs. In an upcoming video, we'll be talking about how to take an equity-focused approach to co-design when working with historically marginalized users in the product design lifecycle. Lastly, we evaluate generated solutions and prepare the app for release. You should also test with people who are representative of those you're building for. With wearables, many of the problems and subsequent solutions are so contextual that it is important to conduct the majority of your research outside of the lab. While situated smartwatch testing may add some complexities when planning a research study, the insights will ensure that you're building the right solution for your target audience. Let's think about how we can help inform product requirements even further. A great way to ensure that we develop design solutions that are easy to use and provide value is to co-design solutions with users. Co-design is a research methodology that consists of hands-on co-creation of user interfaces and interactions with potential users. Community co-design brings an equity-focused lens to product development and focuses on building solutions with, not for, historically marginalized communities. We will talk about this in more detail in the upcoming video. To recap, a variety of research is needed throughout the product development lifecycle. For smartwatches, it is important to test in context. And lastly, lean into co-design to ensure that products are inclusive. We have linked to additional resources below. Please check out more videos in this series. Thank you for listening. Thank mm -hmm. you.